Two football coaches at Seton LaSalle High School won't be on the sidelines in the fall. They are suspended for illegally recruiting, and this isn't the first such incident at that school. Bryant Reed is live at Whippeal headquarters in Green Tree with more. Bryant. Yeah, Ken, first year coach Mar first year coach Morrow Mons was a head coach for LaSalle. This was supposed to be his debut season. And assistant coach Jason Pinkston, who's also a former pit player, was named in that suspension. Not only will the two be off of the sidelines for a year, but they are also unable to participate in any football related activities. And some people agree and some people disagree with the, the decisions. Unfortunately, our board of directors is tasked with the duty to enforce the current bylaws. Seton LaSalle Catholic High School first year head coach Mauro Mons and assistant coach Jason Pinkston have been suspended by the WPIAL, Western Pennsylvania's governing body of athletics. Four schools accuse Seton LaSalle of recruiting players outside of their district. There is no warning period. Uh, if it is found to have happened, then that's the minimum penalty that can be enforced. It can actually be more to the individual or to the school if it is warranted. And not everybody agrees with the decision. The Diocese of Pittsburgh sending out this statement saying the school doesn't engage in recruiting for athletic purposes and they are exploring avenues for an appeal. There's no telling how long an appeal can take, weeks, sometimes even months, according to Shinneman. It was a closed hearing, so we aren't sure how the coaches tried to recruit, but here are some of the possibilities. Offering uh, different incentives to individuals that maybe aren't offered to others constitutes as recruiting. Camps and clinics for the purpose of talking to them about a particular institution and or encouraging them to attend that institution all, again, constitute recruiting. Now Seton LaSalle has to also educate their coaches more on recruiting. They need to have physical documents stating what they are and are not allowed to do, have recruiting handbooks at the ready, and have meetings with coaches before season. Now, Ken, as you mentioned earlier, this wasn't the first time that Seton LaSalle has been flagged for recruiting. In August, an assistant baseball coach was suspended also because he took to social media trying to entice players to come to the school. Shinneman says cases like this happen about once a year and should be taken more seriously. Live in Green Tree, I'm Brian Reed, KDKA News.